Hi, in this video, we are going to look at the audio model in Teachable Machine. So far, we've only looked at images, but you may have noticed you click Get Started, and in the middle, there's Audio Project. So we'll click on that. It looks exactly the same as the image classification, except that it loads with this extra class already labeled as Background Noise. So in this uh, model, we're going to build a, build a model to differentiate between me and Dr. J's voices. And the microphone will always be listening to us when we test our model. So we need a class to tell us when neither when, of us is talking. Neither of us is talking, which is background noise. And you will do this too. So we have to record for a minimum of 20 seconds uh, of background noise to make this work. Okay. Was, it, was I supposed to be holding my breath no, that whole time? Oh, I, I didn't breathing. know that. Okay. Because breathing is <laughs> it's background noise. <laughs> I feel like that is the hardest part for middle school students to, to, to stay quiet for that 20 seconds. Man, it's like, props to you if you get this to work. So once you have this recorded, you have to click this button, Extract Samples. And that's going to take these one second samples, and chop them up, and then place them as your audio samples in this class of background noise. And actually, you can start to see these are pretty dim, but these are actually spectrograms, visualizations of the audio in the background noise. You'll see more of this with our second class. So we'll do me first. And for this one, you do the same thing, except you want to have samples of the person actually talking. So you just hit your record button and then you can recite a poem or you can talk about what you want to eat for lunch or uh, anything that's your kind of normal, okay? And extract that. Now I probably want more than 10 samples, so I'm gonna do this again, try to get at least 20 samples to match the background noise. And if you can get more, up to 100, then that sounds great. Now, one more time, what we're doing here is just our voices, right? So I'm just blah, 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 blahing. But you could do specific words as well and try to differentiate between those words. Now, are we really collecting data here? Or are you just trying to get me to not talk? <laughs> I know. Well, now it's your turn to OK, talk. this is my favorite part. <laughs> so, I'm going to add a class Let's put here. put Dr. J there. Dr. J. And we'll. And Sorry, I ruined it for you. Okay, so if that happens, not a big deal. You just hit record again, and you don't have to extract any samples. So but as I do this, it's going to get rid of that thing that we just recorded. Yeah, so, so if you wanted that, you could keep it. But we don't want that because it had Professor Swisher there. Um, but now I get to talk for 10 seconds or <laughs> multiple times. Oh, with, with some background laughter. That's okay. It's okay to sometimes have some background noise. And we're going to hit extract sample. Let's, let's do it again. This time, you know, uh, you want to do this. By the way, you don't have to do just different people. You can do different words, like uh, uh, wake words, like hello, goodbye, so on. Um, that's actually a really useful use case for different things. And I'll do one more time where I'm talking. Maybe you want to talk at a higher volume, maybe at a lower volume. Maybe walk a little bit away from the mic or walk towards the mic. All of these would be really good to show factors of variation when you're collecting oh, data. It's so hard not to talk. Yes. I wanted to say so many things. Like higher pitch, lower pitch. You said volume. Right. Pitch. This is a loud volume and this is a quieter volume. OK, are you ready? So we're ready to go. I mean, obviously, the more data, the better. But for the sake of purposes for showing this, we're going to train. The most important thing is that you keep this tab open while it's training. This is so hard for me. So is it true that what's happening here is that the audio was turned into this image, the spectrogram? Yeah. So a spectrogram is a visual representation of the audio, of the energy of the frequency waves. And then when we hit training, we're training a neural network to adjust its patterns in order to do that. So now when I'm talking, it's recognizing me as speaking in real time. I think it's actually doing a pretty good job. It, it jumped, the pink bar, which is me, jumped in a little bit. Oh, and it's looking like, am I lowering my voice? Is it more like I can pretend to be, no, it's still not working. 
Yeah, it, it might not just be based on pitch. It's, there's a lot of factors that go into what makes a person sound like them. But as you can see, this is how you can use the audio teachable machine uh, to train algorithm, a neural network to detect different speakers or different words. Or instruments. Instruments. You play the violin and your sister plays the trombone. Yeah, so we hope this tool is really useful for you. Uh, it's a good way to look at visualizations of frequency for sound waves and kind of those science standards around wave phenomenon. And it also introduces the idea that neural networks can be used to, be, uh, to analyze audio as well as images. And good luck keeping everyone quiet for 20 seconds.